Hi, I'm Graham Blackburn, and this episode of Traditional Woodworking by Hand is going to be really boring. Before we start, I want to make one point really clear. Machinists and engineers drill, woodworkers bore. And one of the most common tools for boring, boring holes, are braces. And we have here a collection of braces with different kinds of bits in them. Here are two contemporary ones. You'll notice that there's a difference in the size of the handle from the knob. That's called the sweep. And that's interesting because the bigger the sweep, the more force you have to do something. However, you don't always have that opportunity and you might be in a closer, more upright position. And so the smaller sweep can be useful. In this particular brace, I have what's known as a countersink bit. It bores a hole, it bores a shank, and then it bores a little V-shaped thing so that a screw that I might want to insert in here will fit in nicely and be flush with the surface. But let's go back a little bit into history. These three braces are all from the 19th century, and I've got them fitted with different kinds of bits. This one here, gives me a countersink. So you'll watch if I bore with a hole with this, I end up with a nice countersink hole that will receive in a nice flush manner the head of a screw. See, it's not a direct hole, but it's a nice V-shaped hollow. The next brace that I have does almost the opposite thing. And instead of making a hole, it makes a point. Here's a brace that has a bit in it that will turn the end of a round piece of wood into a sharp point. Watch this. And you can see I now have a nice chamfer. If I were to continue, I could actually make that almost to a point. It all depends how far I want to go. Here is another 19th century brace. And in this, I've inserted a flat screwdriver the middle part of which I've filed out. And this is for a very specific purpose. If you get into the habit of looking and buying old rip saws, panel saws, or crosscut saws, you may want to often remove the handle. And invariably, the bolt that goes through from the face side the face side is always the side where you see the medallion, goes all the way through and sometimes comes out on the slot. So you need a special screwdriver like that to undo these screws. And that will work really well because the middle bit is not being stopped by the head of the nut. The earliest kind of really good quality braces are called framed braces. And here's an example of a, an, an older wooden framed brace, which has brass here because this is cross grain and this strengthens it. And in here, I have an old kind of pointed bit. Uh, this works really well. I'll put another piece of wood in.
this works really well if you just want a straight ahead hole and you'll notice that when i'm doing this a lot of the time i'll put my head on top of the bit because that helps me see that i'm boring in a straight line and gives a little extra pressure so i just turn like this and the screw on the end of the bit helps lead the bit into the wood and then the side that is sharpened will cut the hole so this is your standard framed race now best of all are the ones that were made out of ebony and solid brass and actually have the appropriate name of an ultimatum brace if you look very closely you can actually see on this side the owner previous owner has stamped his name but if you look here you can see do i have it the right way around you can see that this is an example of the ultimatum brace these braces differ from these earlier braces where the bit was held by a screw by having a sliding end to it which if you push this then you can slot the bit in and this is a special kind of bit and that will hold it and this only has one part it's called a center bit and the first thing that happens is that the sharp edge delineates the outside of the hole that guarantees that we're going to get a nice sharp edge and then the inside cuts the hole away until we get a nice straight sided hole of whatever depth that we want with all these braces that i've demonstrated there are also a, quite a number of different kinds of bits here for example are common or garden auger bits you see one of these in this big sweep modern brace that i use some of these have double twists some of them have single twists they also have little threaded lead screws which help feed the bit into the wood and you can buy these with different pitch threads so if you're boring into really soft wood you choose an auger bit with a big thread width and it goes fast but if you're working on something really hard you might want a much finer thread so that it leads it pulls the bit into the wood more slowly here is an old 18th century roll of all kinds of bits these are spade bits just like the one i showed you in the ultimatum brace here are a selection of countersink bits and here are some of the other kinds of bits i could go on for a long time but if you want to become an expert on bits then i suggest that you look at one of the books that i've written and turn to the section on bits and you'll see that there are quite a few pages describing all the different shaped bits adjustable bits auger bits twist bits and not to mention the different kinds of accessories that come with these tools so if you found that interesting then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come back and watch as we explore the world of traditional woodworking hand tools even deeper thank you